now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. City so nice, they named it twice. Ladies and gentlemen, out to San Francisco, California, a place I miss terribly. I mean, I miss it. Ter- How terribly do I miss it? I miss it really terribly. It's Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, Larry. I can't believe you miss San Francisco. There's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, yeah, talk a little bit closer into your phone. There. Oh, okay. How's that? Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Uh, I'm a but, little, uh, little waylaid by the time change, which I uh, takes me forever to get used to. Well, as I said uh, the other day to somebody, the time change between here and California is a significant problem because when it's like, for instance, three o'clock here in New York City, all right, it's 1957 in San Francisco. So. <laughs> Is that what you so were talking? Is that what you were talking about? No, I was talking about the uh, changing <laughs> of the clock, which uh, yeah, we're, there's no. Re- I think we've talked about this before. It's so annoying. There's no reason to do it, and uh, it, we're just fooling ourselves. Yeah, I mean, all we have to do to accommodate this whole process is to um, is to uh, just. Let everybody come to work uh, an hour later, an hour earlier, or whatever, you know, and just shift your day. Rather That's exactly th- the way to do it. Yeah, rather than shifting the clock. Because it's easier to do that, and people would actually probably like that. Let's see here. If you, if you spring ahead, that means you're going to work an hour later. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, uh, you'd be going an hour earlier. But an hour would... earlier? Okay. I mean, I don't think... I. It, all I'm saying is is we're fooling ourselves. And if you really want to just do that, just change the clock so it's always on daylight saving time. You know? Yeah, pick one, but this, the changing is... Every time they do this, there's a definite rise in heart attacks and accidents for the next two weeks. And that's just from trying to change the clocks. <laughs> It's like people when they try to reset their VCRs in the 80s. <laughs> well, you know, I'm always very good about this. I go around the house, right? Like most clocks today, like, you know, when I have my, my uh, device from Amazon, the uh, Alexa, uh, it changes itself automatically. My watch, which is a, a Apple watch, changes itself automatically. Everything I've got, pretty much, it's electronic. You wouldn't know about this because you're not into this. Changes well, I'm a Luddite. Changes automatically, all right? Uh, but then you got to remember all the stuff that doesn't change automatically. So I go around that, that evening and change everything, right, that needs changing. My coffee maker needs a change. The microwave needs a change. I mean, they could build something into them that reads what time it is from wherever Apple gets theirs, but they don't, all right? So ultimately, I've got about maybe four or five different clocks I've got to change. So I go around changing them, and there's always one I forget. Mm-hmm. It's like the next day, I look and go, oh, I forgot that one. It's too much of a pain in the ass. It is. You know, all devices that have clocks in them should be forced to change, have a, just one little thing you switch, you click, that changes the hour to daylight saving time. No matter what the device is, that's easy. That you can put that in there, you know? But they don't. Of course, that would hurt if you lived in Arizona and don't have daylight savings time. But. Yeah. What do they do down there? I guess they just don't know what time it is, huh? <laughs> well, they don't change their clocks, which I like. So. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they opted out of it. And, you know, you know they, the only reason it started, at least this is what I'm told, okay, uh, is that... Uh, um, it was for farmers. 
Yeah, in uh, World War One. Something like that. Yeah. Um, I think uh, Jimmy Kimmel referred to the guy who invented it. He showed a picture of him. He said, this is the guy who made the bill that installed uh, daylight saving time. He said, this is the clock sucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No one seemed to like it. We can't. They had a bill out here to uh, get rid of it, but they can't get. Uh, then it has to get approved by the Fed or get done. They've been trying this for 20 years. Yeah. No, I mean, they're trying to get rid of it in California? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not going to happen, though. But it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think it's, uh, uh, you know, I just think it's a pain in the ass myself. But uh, uh, I'm, I am I don't feel that uh, they'll ever change it or want to change it. So, you know, it just you have to live with it, right? I guess so. And and Thank and you. in case you're wondering and saying, oh, well, Larry and uh, Alex are old people. <laughs> Imagine that we can say that. Um, uh, that we're, we're old people, and um, um, you know we we're we're complaining about something that we should get used to. This was around when we were kids. Okay, I mean this isn't something new that we have to adapt to. But it, everybody says, you know, why do we do it? You know, it just doesn't make sense. So you can have an extra hour of sunlight? What? Yeah. What? Yeah? There's only, there's only so much sunlight in any day, so the clock's not going to change that. Well, I mean, the clock, uh, to begin with, you're going to get more sunlight during the, the during the summer anyway. Right. You know. But you need an extra hour of it so you can go out and do what, you know? Yeah, and the, the winter they say, oh, we can't send the kids to school in the dark. Well, like you said, well, start school an hour later then, you know? Exactly. But uh, anyway, it's uh, we're, we're just complaining, right? Hey, you have any other complaints? We like to complain because we're old. Yeah, but do you have any other complaints? <laughs> yeah, just the medical complaints. Well, you know the thing that gets me, uh, it, it, you know, I, you know me, I've always been into technology, you know, and I've always dreamed about the world of the future and, and all those wonderful things, right? But I got to tell you, this future sucks. <laughs> it I mean, certainly does. And it's it? because of the technology. I have been trying for, I guess it's over a week with a doctor. To get his, pres I'm changing my prescriptions to Costco. The reason being that they're cheaper by Costco at Costco, either by mail order or going to my local Costco and picking it up, than it is if I have insurance and get these drugs because I get I got to pay like four hundred fifty dollars in a uh, in a uh, deductible at the beginning of the year, and it seems like all their drugs are cheaper without any insurance wow so you know like i I'm, i always like to give this example but i use this thing called uh, uh tadafil the tadafil it's a weird name but it's a generic uh cialis and the reason i take it is for the prostate not for boner although you know <laughs> why not take advantage of the boner but anyway <laughs> the bonus anyway uh if you buy, if I buy it, my to begin with, my insurance right now won't won't handle it. When it did, it was about a hundred and twenty five dollars for three months. All right. Now with my current insurance, because the union dropped us, it went to four hundred and thirty five dollars, wow. and they don't cover it. Okay. So I go over to Costco and I look at it. You know how much I'm paying for a three month supply? This is on something that's four hundred and thirty five dollars online with Express Scripts. All right. Take a guess. Just a wild guess. Uh, two hundred. Try twenty five dollars. Jesus, really? Yes. And well, another drug, Costco, which then. which I uh, with it with my insurance people, I'm going to pay forty four plus. I'm still going to have to pay some extra money to pay my deductible off. All right, 
cost me about $40 is $19. And that's without insurance. So, that's folks, incredible. if you need drugs, go to Costco. They got the best prices on them, you know. And then there's this company called GoodRx, and I didn't pay any attention to them until a doctor pointed it out to me. A, a doctor actually led me to Costco saying, you really got to try this. It's a lot cheaper. What happens is GoodRx, you hand your pharmacist the, your GoodRx number, and you're going to get at Costco even more money off. Okay, I've seen ads for them. Yeah, even more money off. So, I mean, I don't, for me, there's no reason for me to even have prescription insurance. It's just I, I'm getting prescription insurance prices better at Costco. It's amazing, just amazing. Here we are. What was the problem? Switching over? Mm. Oh, the problem that I had was we've been doing all week where my doctor's been trying to find the place to send his prescription into, and it's never getting into their system. All right? So that's the problem. But that you can't get, yeah, things like that, uh, technology is screwed up beyond repair. Well, because I talk to one person and they say do this, I talk to another person and they say do that, you know. And I just, all I want to do, all I want is my doctor be able to send in a prescription. I know that when I say I have Walgreens and it's on 116th Street, they send it to Walgreens at 116th Street. So well, finally, I think maybe we have it settled. Who knows? Well, this, that's a lot of money, Jesus. Uh, well, this 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 thing is cheap, is not that expensive, but I'm still going to get it something like twenty, twenty five dollars cheaper than I've I bought it through my insurance plan, which is cheaper, right? Mm-hmm. You know, so it's really ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. But getting it done because of all the technology, I mean, you would think the technology would make it more accurate and easier. But somehow they've made, it, they've made it more difficult. You want to know what really gripes me? You, you probably even run into this. Two-factor um, identification. Do you know what this is? No. Oh, it's when you uh, uh, go and say, I, go, I want to sign on to my bank online. And I'm signed in with two... T- Two uh, two step verification. What they do is they then send me by text something you'll learn about someday soon. By text uh, a, a a number. And then you got to type the number into this thing. This is when you're doing it on a computer, and then you get into your account. I don't like that. I don't want that. I don't care if somebody steals my identity. I just want to be able to sign on, see how much money I got, and get out. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I mean, it's just annoying. And uh, so that that's my that's my old man gripe. But now it's your turn. Now you so you you bank online. I'd be afraid to do that. What do you do? I do the uh, I send checks in the mail. Really? Mm-hmm. Because on my if, if you had an iPhone, you just take a picture of the check, the front and the back. And you uh, send that to you know that goes out that goes out on your computer and uh, out on your phone, and uh, it deposits it. I, I I haven't had to go to the bank to make a deposit in years. And you pay your bills over the phone. Um, my business manager pays the, my bills. Oh. I don't know if he does it over the phone. I think he he does it all by computer. Yeah, he does it all by computer. He goes and checks each of my credit cards, see what I owe, boom, boom, boom. He then deposits the money to them, and, you know. I don't think, uh, I don't think he's had to write a check for me in years. I don't know why he still charges me what he used to, but he hasn't had to write a check in years. I'll show you. I, I'll tell you where it really, uh, I, I turned him on to computers years ago when they first started, and you know, I said, I have this little program, it was called VisiCalc, and it was a electronic spreadsheet that you could do on your computer, rather than, he was like writing numbers into a spreadsheet, right, and then going to the adding machine and adding them up and so on. Here, you just put in the amount, boom, 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 boom and you set the thing up so that it adds up the column. 
All right? It was just very simple. He'd take work he was doing and maybe cut the time he took to do it, not in half, but maybe he could do it in one-tenth the time. And so immediately he went out and bought a computer, and I bought a computer with him. And now he's doing all his work in, you know, in, in a tenth of the time that it used to be. So that rather than saying, hey, I've got a lot of free time to go out and play tennis or whatever he does, right? No, he just took on ten times more clients. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I mean, it, uh, so. Uh, yeah, uh, in the end, technology never stays any time. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've been talking with the lovely and attractive Larry Bubbles Brown. Let's do this again next week, okay, Larry? We will. Okay. Bye-bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. There, there goes Larry Bubbles Brown. Uh, great having him here, and uh, it's terrific. Okay, uh, I've only got one person waiting in the waiting room. Boy, I'm, 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 I may start giving up on all of this. I'm sorry. I just. Uh, 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 but we'll wait and see if anybody decides to uh, call in, you know. Some nights I run a 25-minute interview, and some nights I don't. And tonight was one of the nights I only ran a 15-minute interview. But it doesn't pay me not to do 25 minutes in this slot because then everybody goes, oh, well, I'm not going to tune the show in yet because Alex is just interviewing somebody, and I don't care about that. So I don't know. And then the amount of people that watch is down, and I just, uh, I don't know. I mean, it could just be because we're in the doldrums when there's nothing much to, not much controversy, and so people don't tune into these programs to uh, uh, get into the controversy. But anyway, I will just uh, sit here kind of waiting. You know, I had a, I, I almost didn't do a show tonight, and I'll tell you why. And it wasn't because of this. If I had known that I was only going to have one person, which right now is Charlie Wallace waiting for me, uh, well, I, Charlie's worth talking to. I might have just done the whole show with, with Charlie. But what happened was is that I was, um, uh, we had, the guy finally came in. For the last two months we've been dealing, we had a washer go bad on us. Our washer dryer, it started leaking profusely from the bottom. So uh, I, I, there's this company called PULS, and they, uh, they, you know, they'll send somebody out to your house. And I had them last year. They mounted a, a TV set on my wall, and I went, okay, that was pretty good. So I'll call them. So I called them. They send a guy out. He looks at it. He checks it out. I, I decide to sign up for the service, uh, which is 75 bucks, And then I also had to pay for the, the appointment, okay? So they did the appointment. And uh, he comes out and he looks at it and he goes, well, here's why it's leaking. The seal at the bottom of the thing is blah, blah, blah. He says, of course, that's going to take a lot of work to get in there and replace the seal. But I said, how much is it going to cost? He said, well, let me check. Blah, 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 blah. It'll cost you a $5.50, but minus the $50 you already uh, put out for this appointment or whatever, it, it'll, it'll cost you uh, uh, 500 bucks." So we're going, okay, 500 bucks versus buying a new one for like 1500 yeah, and then delivering it and taking the old one away, another 200 yeah, yeah, it's worth it. Okay, do it. Two months later, he's through doing it, okay? Takes him two months to do this thing. Uh, and uh, it is not uh, terrific, <laughs> Okay. Two months later, he finally gets it done. And uh, then he, uh, let me, hold on a second. I just got to uh, uh, go into lo looking at my picture here to make sure it's okay. Yeah, okay. It's a little, it's not as colorful as I'd like it to be, but what the hell. Anyway, oh, I can make it more col colorful. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I, I can do this. Let me, hold on, I'll, because I'll, I'll tell you the rest of the story in a second, okay? Um... There we go, and uh, there we go. Is that, oh, you see? Now that's a little brighter, see? That's nice. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, so he, he first of all, he has to unscrew the thing, right? And he can't get the screw to unscrew because it's like 
been rusted in there for years, okay? So he can't get a screw loose to get the agitator out. So he then says, I can't get it out, I can't get it out, I'm going to have to cut into the agitator, you're going to have to buy a new agitator. Okay, do it, okay? Having been an agitator all my life, I understand. Anyway, so he then cuts it out, and he orders a new agitator. All right, so now he gets the new agitator, he comes over, and he goes down and he tries to get something else out, and the screws break in it. So now he's got to get that thing out, and he's got to get a new one because it's all rusted out. And that's, uh, the, let's see, the, um, the agitator cost us $162, all right? And now this thing, which is, uh, I can't even remember the name of it now, but it's a little hub that goes in there. That's another, um, let's see, nine, $75, okay? All right. But he hasn't got that yet. And then he's got to get the screws for it. The screws cost money. One of the screws costs 10 bucks, believe it or not. One of the screws. So now, finally, he today, he finally says, after two months, two months we've been trying to get this thing fixed. After two months, he calls me up and uh, he says, I'm ready to come over and finish the job. And he finishes the job. And it comes to, are you ready with tax and everything? Okay. $996. Yeah. There's a tax, but the tax is only 8.5%. Another 4, another 5% is added on to that as a service charge for the servicing of the credit card. Okay. All right. So now Marjorie gets a copy of the bill and he's added $248 for a tip. Well, we've already been tipping him in cash for I have no apparent reason, okay, because it's taken so long. And so we, 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 uh, um, uh, we call him up and say, take off the 400 what was it, $245, something like that in, in tip, okay? He said, no, I don't know how that got on there. Well, yeah, you didn't know how it got on there. You just had her sign something, and apparently the tip was added into it. So we took that out, and now we're down. We're down to the the nine hundred and ninety six dollars. Uh, I'm just so upset by all of this. I I call up the company, this PULS that we got the service through, and uh, uh, they don't know. Uh, they have uh, listed there the original visit that he did, right? Which was the visit for the. Uh, for looking and seeing what was wrong with it. And then it has no other visit listed. What this guy was doing is he was trying to bypass that company, right? Charge us for the whole thing, not let them know he had done the second level of work, okay? Uh, and then he, of course, is going to charge us whatever they would have charged him, whatever, but he doesn't have to pay them anything, and he said, if anything goes wrong, don't call P-O-L-S. Call me. I'll do it immediately. Don't call them. Call me. Well, I called P-O-L-S to find out what this extra charge was on the, ta the tax and, I don't know, whatever, to use the credit card. So uh, they say, gee, we don't have you listed here for the second part of it. And I said, well, let me send you the bill, okay? I'll send, I'll send you the bill and the credit card uh, thing on it and so they did and uh <laughs> they went oh, this doesn't look right well we'll send this over and we'll be in touch with him what he did is he was trying to steal from them okay so now i'm feeling guilty because then i call him up and i say look we're trying to figure out what this is all about and i said by the way i called pols just to let them know and he's i told you not to call them well, of course, they didn't want me to call them because by calling them, I alerted them to the fact that one of their people was like cheating them. Okay, they got the, he they, he got his business from us through them. They deserve to get their cut. All right, but he doesn't want to give it their cut. All right. So there we are, and and so we're stuck with uh, almost a thousand dollar bill. We could have, for another seven, eight hundred dollars, I guess, gotten a new washing machine. But this one is fixed, and if he did it right, it should last till the day we drop dead. Because he says these these washing machines are very good at holding up. 
Okay. Anyway, that's it. But that's what I had to put up with this evening and today. Okay, well, there aren't very many people calling, and if we don't get enough, I'm going to cut it off early. That's what I'm going to do. Cut what off early? It off early. Now, anyway, let me go to our uh, our people here who I should be coming online now. And, uh, oh, yeah, okay. And uh, let me see here. Uh, we've got uh, Jason and we've got Alan. We've got Jason and Alan. Oh, and Charlie's coming here in a second. Uh, you know what you should do, Jason? You should change that, change that owner to your name. What? Now you don't even have your microphone on. Oh, wait, wait a minute. You don't have your mic on. Is he there? What? Wait, wait, oh, yeah, he should be there. Uh, are you there? Uh, any other guys there? Uh, wait a minute. Charlie, say hello. What? Everybody's... I haven't got any audio? What is this? Oh, God bless it. We should have it. We should have the uh, the voice going here. Hold on a second. I know what I got to do. Yeah, something changed here. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Can you hear me now? I can. Hear, now? I can hear you now. Now you see where uh, it says you know. owner. You got to change owner. I, I don't know how to. I was very just simple, trying to. Very simple. Very simple. See at the top when you put your when you put your no. Arrow. It, it's it's my it's built into my computer. No, it's, it's my not profile no, on my computer. No, it's not built in. Just here. like if I call from my it iPad, is, this, it'll say this Jason's is iPad. not built into your computer. This is the way it is reading what is built into your computer to decide what the name is. But that isn't what it yeah. has to be, and it's not going to change anything if you do what I tell you to do. You go up to see those. Uh, you put your 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 mouse over the picture, and you see that you get like mute. And over to the side, there are three little buttons, three little dots. Yep. Okay. Click on that. And what comes down? I oh, mine might be different. It, it, but as soon as I hit call and I'm on here and it says owner, is that something that would save into there anyway? Or no, would it no, just... no. I, I could change it from here, but you can change it permanently. Because I, I don't even have Zoom on my computer. So that's why I don't think it would change permanently. Well, what are you, what are you, how are you calling this program if you don't? I just have... hit your link. Well, then you have Zoom on your computer. So if you go up to your picture, and does it say when you put your arrow over your picture, see like I'm doing here for the audience... See where it says mute? See the blue dot, uh, things there? Yep, I okay. said mute my audio. And, and then over to the right are three dots, right? No, I don't have any dots. Oh, yep, way at the top, yeah. Yeah, okay, then click that. Click on that. Okay. And w there's a drop-down menu, right? Yep. And yep. it says rename. Uh, oh, yeah. I should just give classes in this, huh? Good. Uh, wait a minute. Go. Uh, I think you're the only one that cares. <laughs> I do care because it, 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 it's a pain in the ass. Um, are you uh, are you are you gonna are you gonna do something here? Yeah, just go. The, you go to rename, hit rename. I did. Okay, and, it's, oh, and there you go. See, and now it will stay that no, way. Stay yeah. If I changed it. The next time you call, it would say owner again. See, so that's why it's important the way that I did it. Anyway, so this is it for tonight, huh? So far, so mm. far, so far. Yeah. Sounds like an echo. It's echo. not. It's not. Echo. It's not been a good. It's not been a good day today. Yeah. With this, with, with Brian with, says he's got movie night with his family, so he's not going to be here. Who, Brian? Yeah, movie night with his with his family. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that's, priorities. It's just oh us. yeah, man, family first. Uh, yeah, I, I would say so. Yeah, uh, but anyway, so uh, let me see here. So anyway, so I've had this whole problem today with the mm -hmm. uh, with the paying of the bill for the washer dryer, which took two months of anguish to get fixed, and the guy finally fixed it. They put that seal in. To put the seal in, but he broke everything along the way, so he had to replace yeah. everything along the way. Yeah, um, but you didn't have to pay for that, right? Boy, I wish I knew how to fix things like that. I would yeah, do it myself. Did. Huh? 
I'll be right over. You'll be right over. You could have. You yeah, could. I could fix that. <laughs> yeah, you could have pulled the tub out and taken the. I used the to edge. work on. I used to work for General Electric. Oh, really? Doing, working on major appliances. Mm -hmm. We worked on. Towards the end of my career there, we worked on all makes and models. So, probably could have got it all out fixed yeah. in a couple of hours. By the way, we're getting another Brian here. Got Brian Ludwig here. Hi. Hello, Brian. How are you? Yeah. 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 There he is. There he is. Brian Ludwig. Um, See, now just think, would have been worth your money and time if you would have just bought a new one? Well, there would have been a, it would have been a problem in a way because it's a very tight squeeze and we would have had to move a whole bunch of stuff out of there. And then even at that, if we paid the, so let's say we paid $1,500 for the new washer plus the tax plus $200 or so for them to come and install it and remove the other one, take the other one away. So I'm, you know, it still would have wound up costing us 1800 bucks, you know, so so wait a minute, this this repair cost eighteen hundred dollars? No, no, it cost uh, a little under a thousand. Holy uh, shit! I know it's like twelve hundred. There's a Samsung stackable that they have that they're advertising. Oh, yeah. yeah, but that's not as good as this, from what I'm told. The one I've got here. This is, you're 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 told this from the guy that couldn't take it apart right. <laughs> no, no, he, he's got the Cadillac version. Come on. <laughs> no, I got, they, uh, this is a very, uh, very good, and it's served us very well. I mean, you know, it's not ours. It belongs to the guy who lived in the apartment before See, us. But... I guess that would be my hang-up, and I would actually maybe even be submitting these bills to your lawyer. Well, you know, we got enough problems with that situation that I really don't <laughs> want to complicate it with one more bill to the lawyers, you know. Plus, for them to submit a bill, okay, my lawyers, they would then send me a bill for submitting yeah. the bill. <laughs> God. Now, I don't know how that works in, in a sane world, but it, it doesn't seem to, you know. So An American phenomenon. Yeah, it really is. Uh, how you been doing, Brian? Haven't yeah. talked to you in a while. Uh, it's, it's been over three months, maybe four. I lost count. I just... What'd you say? Three, uh, maybe three or four months. I I, I kind of lost count. I know the last time the last time I was on here, Trump was still president. He was on his way out, but he was still president. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, work, home, routine. I just got caught up in mundane shit. Yeah, and in the meantime, he didn't come down with COVID or anything, did you? No, no. I mean, I I, I came to the conclusion. I half jokingly say. Uh, to people, I could lick the steering wheels of the buses, and I don't think I'll ever get COVID. Because <laughs> as many times I've sanitized those damn things since the beginning of the school year, since September. Yeah. And uh, between that and room, a bus full of kids, mm -hmm. or uh, a room full of people in mm -hmm. the driver's room and shit like that, yeah. Uh, I wonder if I'm. Uh, I wonder if I'm. Uh, but do uh, you wear a mask over your nose? Oh yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what's doing it for you. Yeah, well. The mask is, you know, the mask is pretty much a, a safety valve. Okay. Quite a few people say that even with the masks on, that they still got the, they still got the virus. So. Well, because they might have taken it off at one point, or they didn't wash their hands, or they didn't do a bunch of Or they of think things. that this is wearing it right. Yeah, 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 right. Or, or they're wearing one of those stupid surgical masks that really doesn't protect you, it protects the other person. Right. Uh, the surgicals are, from what I've heard, the best. See, I wear a gator. Those gators I mean, the the, the, the the what N95s are the best. But second best, if you can do it, are the, you know, I don't want to have one here now, but uh, the surgical, the surgical masks are considered fine. The white cotton masks, the CDC, are the best uh, after the N95. Um, <clears throat> what, do you mean by, them. what do you mean by white cotton? Uh, three layers of white cotton or any color cotton. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, that's that's the surgical mask. No, because no, the, the surgical, mask, surgical mask is the disposable paper ones. That's the surgical. That kind. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I use. Okay, and that's here's the I white use. cotton mask. Okay. Oh, those are terrible. Uh, yeah, yeah. Those I can, are horrible. I can imagine why you wouldn't want to wear cotton over your nose and your mouth. 
They use them in surgery in poor countries, and doctors don't get sick, and the patients don't get sick. Especially, right. so okay. I have the ones that have metal in the cotton mask yeah, still, the, you know, to it, fold it, to my nose. Yeah. Yep. The, the, the surgical yeah. masks. It's probably they, the same one that Phil if, sent you. If you look one. at it, if somebody coughed at you, if it hit the mask, great. But if it passed it, you can suck it in through the – it doesn't fit very tight. And that and that's why the surgical mask protects the other person but doesn't really protect Don't listen to a word he says, folks, because he's not a doctor. And I don't this want shit, any no, medical no. advice given on it, this program that we have to vet it. Not medical advice. Uh, yeah, it, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Technically, it is. You know, if, you look, if you look at the statistics for how many people, you know, had the flu this year mm -hmm. it's like so it's down so low right because i wonder why wearing masks yeah maybe someday we'll unmask that mystery i haven't i haven't yeah, got, well i haven't gotten a cold this year you know and, and it's because you're wearing the mask your hand up jeffrey <clears throat> yes oh, jeff's well, got his hand up yeah i used to wear uh, surgical stuff because i used to go into uh, work on the surgery and Nobody ever had a problem. It was a typical procedure. You know, wash your hands ten, three times, mm -hmm. and then you wear the thing on your face, the same one that the guy just showed. And you know what? Nobody ever complained about it. Everybody did. And the patients were sick. They had all kinds of diseases. Yeah. And they would, yeah. they would protect you because of that. Well, so it, it, I think it's... But the, the biggest thing today, mm -hmm. Alex, and I'm, I'm not surprised that you're going crazy, is that this extra disease from Africa and Brazil is really coming into uh, the use of, uh, of uh, New England and, and New York. New York, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah they, they don't know yet how much the the vaccine is going to protect against that. They tend to think that while it won't protect against it, it will minimize it. So we don't know yet, though. Nobody knows yet. We'll know in the next couple of months. When vaccinated people get sick, then we know it doesn't work. Well, vaccinated people aren't getting sick. You know, so, I okay. mean, uh, the, 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 you know, they, they find that uh, nobody who has been vaccinated has died from COVID. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, That's a good thing. Am I am I right, Charlie? Charlie? Yeah. That's am, that's right. Yeah, am I right about that? Yeah. So but the, but the yeah. variances that are now hitting New York and the United States are just hitting now in the past couple of weeks. And so we'll see. But are they just now hitting in the last couple of weeks or are we just now starting to test for them? Okay. Because that was the big thing when when they were starting to happen and uh, they're saying, you know, the United States, they're not testing for any of these other changes in it, you know, the genetic changes in where other countries were. Mm. Well, I, uh, uh, you know, I just think that uh, uh, from what I hear that so far, people who have had vaccine have gotten it, but they have not gotten a deadly Forbes, uh, form of it. Uh, uh, they are, you know, they get sick, but they don't get deadly sick. And that's the difference. Yes, Brian. Uh, dovetailing with what, uh, I don't, I don't know your name, uh, sir, with the, uh, Alan, uh, Alan, FDNY, uh, that's yeah. Alan. Yeah. Alan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Anyhow, uh, yeah. Dovetailing with what uh, you said, Alan, uh, between the new variant strains coming in from Brazil and God knows where else. And these uh, 15 states now that have lifted, uh, relaxed their restrictions and outright, you know, eliminated their mask yeah. mandates. I wonder, you know, vaccinated or not, if this is just like uh, another recipe for, you know, another shitstorm disaster. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. Of course yeah. it is. Yeah. I just vaccinated hope they don't shut, or not. Uh, I just hope they don't shut Pennsylvania down yeah. until after April 13th, because that's when I get a crown on a damn tooth that's been bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went through it last year. Yeah. I, last year, it took me like six months to get a, a tooth that was cracked to get a root canal and then to get my crown put on. It was oh, but that's it, it still bothers me. Well, I went yeah. and had a, I had an implant done mm -hmm. last year. 
But you know, when I went to the doctor, I wore the I took I took a, a, a lift down there and I made sure it was one that had nice covering in the between the front and the back. And uh, I took a lift back home, you know. Um, but uh, and when I was at the doctor's, he was wearing two masks. You know, he was wearing an N95 over a it's surgeon. Like, you know. Yeah. So, you know. So we're going to we'll, we will see because uh, the idiots in the South opening up, we're going to see people with vaccines. It's not just get, the South, it's the Midwest, it's yeah. Alaska. Wherever we're gonna, we're still gonna see yeah. if people with vaccines get sick at all, mildly or otherwise, with the variances. Now that we're testing for mm -hmm. that, yeah. And if they don't, then the vaccines work. Yeah. Did if you they do, they, uh, then they'll have to give boosters. Yeah. What? Did you hear that they uh, they had an outbreak at Mar-a-Lago? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, Dude, it just it seems like wherever Trump it. goes. Yeah, <laughs> apparently it's closed down right now. It's all closed down because of a, an outbreak there. Really, I didn't hear yeah. that, boy. I can't yeah, tell you how on, uh, on the news. I can't tell you how sad I am to hear that. <laughs> I, I know you were <laughs> you were planning to go there for golf this well, weekend. Well, it was well. my big golf weekend. Yeah, and I uh, uh, Alex. Yeah, Alex. I, I suppose the only way this news could have been better if instead. Of Mar-a-Lago would have been Miami since you love that area. Well, so I would be happy if it went. <laughs> I would be happy if it started in Mar-a-Lago and worked its way to Miami. It might be. Yeah, it might get there. It could. Isn't get that there. where spring break's going on in my, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Miami? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. There. Oh, there. I got a question. Yeah. If all those kids down there are you know celebrating spring break, well, I, I thought they were already out of school because school was was canceled. What are they doing? Well, aren't still school call well you break. still have spring break. Yeah, Even really. if you're going to school, what do you, you got all break all the time. You're, you're going to school online. Well, let somebody with children explain it. Uh, Kevin? Yeah, really. <laughs> why they're my kids? College. Why did, uh, community college, I see. Okay. No, they're not in college. Oh, my not my in daughter college. is not in college no. yet. Okay. My kid's being quarantined for the third time. She would be smart enough not to go. Yeah. What now? What's happening in Texas? How? Th uh, well, we haven't talked. Checked in with Doctor Doom, Doctor. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, well, Texas is, is, is. Well, Texas is like two thousand deaths behind New York now. We're catching up. Oh, really? Oh, mm -hmm. good for you. Yeah. But I bet Charlie's, you're not as many. Charlie's. I bet you're not as many women ahead as Cuomo is. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> They, another woman came forward today. How many is this now? 20, 40, 60, something wow. like that? Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I mean, what happens is somebody comes forward and all of a sudden everybody who wants to take advantage <clears throat> of that situation comes forward, you know. I just I should try this out. You know, to, a, to an Italian stallion like him, 20, 40, 60, or 80 women in one night would be a one-night stand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought of that in my head. I guess that. Well, I just, I just love it how all these women are so upset by what happened to them three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, forty years ago with the guy that went to the Supreme Court. I mean, really now? Yeah. Yeah. But why are you so obsessed on Kavanaugh? <laughs> uh, well, because it's a little it's different of being thing. accused of saying he flirted with me versus he, he raped, raped me. me. <laughs> yeah. I, but it's only an accusation at this point. An accusation under oath. No, but there was an it was an accusation. It was an what accusation. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Really? Uh, 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 it was an accusation against a person under oath, and the yeah. person who was okay. facing the accusation also took the oath, and he was up to be. Uh, the uh, Supreme Court justice, a little different, you know. And all we're doing is just saying the same thing with Kavanaugh. Hey, let let the hearing be heard. And same thing with Cuomo. Let the hearing be heard. Exactly. Let him be tried before exactly. he's accused, I, you know, before he's you, judged. You just and and Kavanaugh point, really Jason. wasn't. He wasn't, you know, he didn't get to, we didn't get to hear what all the people we wanted to hear. Right, you just made my point, Jason. Thank you. Well, no, but I mean, uh, it, it, it's important that we that we, he got his his day in court, as it were, his day in front of the committee, and he he was under oath, and she was under oath, and somebody lied, but you know, who knows? Yeah, that happens a lot under oath. 
yeah. they sided for him, and he's. But in the case of, of Cuomo, nobody's under oath, and as a matter of fact, the person who st- woman who started this whole thing said she would not speak to the committee, she would not speak to the investigators, which means she'd yeah. have to do it under oath, and she doesn't want to do it under oath, or under subpoena. Yeah. So I mean, it, it's uh, uh, subpoenas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Penis. Yeah. Subpoenas? Subpoenas. Yeah, big subpoenas. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, uh, um, uh, I, I just feel that they should lay off of Cuomo until this thing plays itself out and they talk to everybody and they decide whether there's a case here or not. And if he's found guilty, process, and of hang him then. Well, it, him it isn't a matter of finding him guilty. It's a matter of this uh, investigation saying, hey, there's good cause to believe he did these things. You know, the first thing that popped into my head when some chick said that he was feeling me up under my shirt at his house Mm -hmm. was him saying, yeah, she was sucking my dick. (laughs) (laughs) Right on. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I didn't know that that was uh, inappropriate. You know, my dick was in the mouth. He could get away with that. Gorsuch wouldn't have been able to get away with that. Yeah. Uh, here's a, here's the thing though. I mentioned this last night, and it, it kind of got to me a little bit because it was so. I like I I hate liberals. Okay, I don't know sure. if I made that perfectly clear here, but I have always hated liberals because liberals are not radical enough for me. They're not leftists. Okay, they're liberals. And 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 uh, Paul, uh, what's his name? Phil Oaks once said that liberal as a person who's 10 degrees to the left in good times and 10 degrees to the right when it affects him personally, you know. And they're always the first to jump in there and get on the cause and everything. And yesterday, the President of the United States at the White House ran the flag at half-mast for the dead, uh, shall we say, massage parlor workers, all right? Uh, and I think that was a little wrong because they didn't do that for the kids in Rhode Island when they got murdered, and they didn't do that for the kids at Columbine when they did, got murdered. Was he the know. president at that time? No, but no, he but he was president. around. He was around for the uh, what was the, what was the place in uh, Connecticut? Uh, um, the name of the school? Newtown. Newtown. Sandy Hook. Yeah. Newtown. Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook. Sa- Sandy Hook. He wasn't Sandy the president. Was yeah, but he wasn't president. But who, no, but who, was, who was president? Obama. 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 Did, and who was they, vice they, president? They, they, they didn't they, lower the flag yeah, at half Obama made the decision. Yeah, but, they, yeah, but Alex, hmm. can, can't new presidents be established? In well, regards all to I'm that? saying is I, I think it was a very liberal thing to do. I think that you really reserve that for situations that are, uh, uh, you know— a matter of a national problem. Uh, well, uh, mass shooting, shooting, mass shooting, shooting, shooting. No, problem. I think, look, to begin with, I, I think that, that, I honestly believe, I don't think this was a racial incident. I, would like, I don't either. I would like to think that it was, but really? the fact of the matter was, this is some guy who felt guilty about going to a massage parlor, and he just one day went nuts and crazy because he was like a very religious Catholic and he couldn't stand what this these places were doing to him and he had an addiction and he did what he did. Uh, I don't think it was an... I, don't th- I, I mean, there's definitely a problem with Asians being attacked in this country right now. There's no question about that. And it's horrible and it was all started by Trump. But I don't think this was one of those. Uh, yes, uh, Charlie... Charlie? Charlie. Oh, he had his hand up so long he froze. Well, I, I oh. call BS on that. Okay. I'm frozen now? No, you're no, not. you were. I thought you were. You can't hear me? No. Yes, no, we, we can. can. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 the problem is he shot up an Asian spa and then drove 27 miles to shoot up the next one. You know how many other spas he passed in that twenty-seven miles, mm-hmm. and he didn't shoot them up. And do you know he how was many? For another agent. And, and do you Maybe know how many the of them? Frequented. How many of these massage organizations, shall we call them? I don't like. 
I don't like to call them massage parlors because when you say that, you assume they're all giving happy endings, and that's not true. Yeah. Some of them are legitimate, and and to and call it's but, a bad name to pizza parlors. But anyway, <laughs> uh, to begin with, um, they're uh, the, the majority of them are Asian. Okay, uh, you, you, do you remember the guy down in Florida, the head of the football team, the owner of the football team? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he went to that. That was that was again an yeah. Asian massage yeah. parlor. Uh, that one they did do happy endings at. Yeah, you know, uh, yep. his ending wasn't happy, but everybody else's was. Uh, and so I'm not. I'm going to argue with you that it wasn't that he went, you know, hundred miles to go get to another Asian place. He probably could have just gone down the street. Also. Of the eight people killed, I think in that in the massage in those massage parlors, I think two of them were white. I think yeah, one was a husband too. and wife, and, and yeah. they were they were they were uh, they, they were, were husband customers. and wife, and they were customers. Okay, yeah. so it wasn't mm -hmm. like he was just aiming for the Asians. It's just that in that yeah. place, you couldn't aim without hitting an Asian. Okay. I think there are some Mexicans that they were calling Asians and, too. And I'm not saying <laughs> there isn't a horrible problem in this country that Trump created with his whole hatred against China that uh, that uh, hasn't manifested itself in, in all kinds of hate crimes. So, Alex, asking you, because you live in New York with a higher Asian population, are you hearing about any of this on the local news? Because I'm, you know, we, we don't oh, have yeah. a huge Asian oh. population over here, and it's not oh, an oh, issue. Oh, yeah, we're, we're hearing about it, you know. And I have Asian friends who, I mentioned this last night, I have, we have this couple we know with their kids, and their parents are here from China as well. And they're, they've been thinking about moving back to China because it, they feel it's too dangerous here for them. But have they actually had any experience with anything? Because, no, but they live know. out in New Jersey. They live out in the country. So they're not exposed to that sort of thing. But if they lived in the city as they once did, they said they just don't think they would ever move back into the city. That's for damn sure, mm -hmm. you know. And and it is it's horrible that the Chinese have been, or Asians, but Chinese in particular have been uh, been uh, singled out by Trump with all his kung flu and crap like that, and the Asian flu and the Chinese flu uh, that he caused the kind of violence we're seeing right now because it's only had a tick up since he started that crap. Yes, uh, yes, Alan. And I, then I Jeff. Wanna, I, I want to see if I can get something clear. Are you saying that this was a racist move or it's not? I don't, think, I don't think this particular situation was racially motivated. I think it was sexually motivated. I think it was that he, this was a but, guy but then, who was then, a women who was a staunch Catholic who was so eaten up with guilt because he had a sex addiction, as some people call it. I don't know how you're addicted to sex. You just are horny, that's all. But anyway, he felt guilty about this, and he went in and shot these places up. I mean, that's... Yeah, I that's, a, that's a, but, Nah, I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't think so. I was raised Catholic and spent 12 years in Catholic school, and nothing I ever learned made me want to go shoot up a massage. Well, not uh, yet. Uh, I'm <laughs> that beard, you see that beard the guy had he probably so, couldn't get laid for fucking nothing so he yeah, went crazy with that you're beard. insinuating that that's that was a happy ending all those places were happy no ending. i'm not in, i'm part. not insinuating that they were but well, then, that, that's, that's, that's what you're saying that that he's you know if that's what he's uh upset about then that's what you know he shot well, somebody here last night said you know, you get a little suspicious when you see a massage parlor that has a neon light. I mean, yeah, but yeah. there was a husband and wife in there, too. Yeah, but there was a husband so, and wife in there. So uh, but, I've but gone to a massage I, parlor with my wife. I don't know how legitimate or illegitimate these so-called massage parlors were. They were licensed by the city. Okay. But why not just so, call them massage parlors? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it's my wife is a certified massage yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I agree with Charlie and I agree with Kevin here. I think that the, one of the reasons, if I, let me put it this way, if I owned a place like that and it was totally legitimate and you go in there and you get the best back rub you ever got in your life, I would not call it a massage parlor because in today's society that indicates something other than... No, not really. really. I disagree. That's stereotyping there. Uh, I disagree. Really? Okay. You know, I'm, yeah. uh, I'm just I the old so. fart here There's... making a generalization. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, Jason. So I, I will say there, there's one part on where he's saying a sexual addiction that I can uh, semi relate to. When I was a kid, a teenager, mm -hmm. it, you know, I was masturbating like a freaking crazy, you know, all the time. I used to cut myself because I figured I had to punish myself for masturbating uh -huh, because I was always taught, you know, Hey, you'll go blind. You're going to grow hair on your knuckles. You know, it's so bad. You know, you something you shouldn't be doing. So, you know, if he's has that same type of issue where he's going and getting this, where he's getting pleasure from it, where it's really nothing wrong. You're not hurting anybody. You're paying somebody to do something and they're pleasing you, mm -hmm. you know, but he's being told by society it's wrong. And then, you know, if he does have some big, heavy religious <clears throat> background beliefs and Charlie, you said that he drove a hundred miles and passed 20 other massage parlors. Well, probably out of those 20 massage parlors, 16 of them were Asian massage parlors too. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if he all was getting all, a happy ending. If he and, was no, and, and but and if he did have maybe he did have a sexual addiction, well, Mike, that's where he got them at. In that hundred miles away, well, he went hundred miles away to get happy endings there because he was embarrassed. Of well, what supposedly he, was doing. he had been a customer of these places. Uh, and that of, might of, be of the these difference. establishments. Wait a minute, let me finish. Uh, <clears throat> what was he feeling guilty about? Getting his back rubbed? Getting the happy ending. Yeah, I, I don't. You know, I haven't heard I mean, anything about him. But I, and I, I don't want. I haven't heard anything about him being Catholic either. I, I don't want to imply right. anything. Either you either. know, it, it was up in the news today that he was. Uh, the, 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 he was Catholic. He, he was a staunch, I thought he was Christian or something. Staunch Catholic. Yeah. So did I. Did you hear he was Catholic too, Alan? Yeah, I, I heard yeah. that he I, was. That he was a Christian. I yeah, heard that he Catholic. felt guilty. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I, yeah. I just want to sure say two things. Uh, first of all, that the that these ladies mm -hmm. were were Asian. They were not Chinese. They were Asian. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the other thing is that their mother and father turned them in and called the police and said, "I think this is my son." Well, that that would be the, that would that's going to be the big. Uh, finding is that if these places were illegitimate, mm -hmm. then then there's that's the that's the reason. Uh, if they are legitimate, then there may be a, a, a different story behind it because you got the same situation in a nail salon. Those are dominantly Asian as well. Oh, absolutely. So <clears throat> why would somebody have a, a guiltiness and go and start shooting up? Well, Asian? if he wanted to go get it, then you got a crime. Then you got a then you got a hate crime if there. He, if, if he wanted up to a kill, nail salon. but what if he wanted to kill Asians? Wouldn't he do just as well by going into a nail salon? Correct. You know. But you don't get a happy ending at a nail salon. Well, yeah, yeah I don't want. I don't want to imply the, anything. We, so you got to you got to balance that out. I, I, I don't want to imply. Salons, I, know. I don't want to imply anything <laughs> that we don't know is true. All I'm saying is, is this is all up for. Well, my finger. <laughs> and I think what it does is it kind of takes the 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 focus off of what's happening in this country with the violence against Asians. I mean that's 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 the thing that really bothers me. And then if it, if they find out, oh, this guy really did do it for sexual reasons, then everybody's going to go, oh, well, then I guess the rest of the Asian stuff isn't isn't worth it, you know. And I think that it's some terrible stuff is happening. Old Chinese people being beaten up on street it corners. Is. It's yeah, disgusting. but they shouldn't they shouldn't be uh, pre-assuming that that's the reason this happened. Mm -hmm. Right, that's what's happening. It's the same that, thing. The, there, the, you hit the nail on the head, Kevin. Yeah, it could be the reason. It could be the reason, but we're assuming that that's that Correct. is the only. It's the same reason. thing with the Como thing and everything else. Yeah, right yeah, off the bat, yeah. it's a hate. Like, crime. A, a, Boom. a massage a massage parlor, um, you know, it does. It's not mutually mm -hmm. exclusive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It, you know, you you could it, it could be a happy ending. But it could be also legit, you know. They're not going to advertise, "Hey, come on in here. This is a happy ending." I consider a happy ending legit. You know. Well, I mean, <laughs> legal. Okay. Yes, uh, Alan. Alan had his hand up. Actually, Charlie was first before me. Oh, okay, Charlie. I, I was just going to point out that that. Uh, I was just going to point out that these Trumpsters aren't smart enough to tell the difference between a Korean and a Chinese person. Yeah. 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 That's Asians, true. Asian to them. Yeah. Right. The, the, so, the type of person that can't tell the difference between a Japanese person and a Chinese person. 
you know. And yeah. the difference is the Japanese Chinese hate the Japanese. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, yes, Alan. Okay, yeah, so uh, I'm probably the only one here that's actually interviewed people that have done murders mm -hmm. and studied that type of stuff. But mm -hmm. in any case, um, let's let's just assume for right now that this is a hate crime against Asians. It doesn't matter if they're Chinese or Korean or what. Mm -hmm. He probably knew who was in the massage parlors mm -hmm. that he hit. He, it, he It's going to come out that he hit certain ones on purpose knew where knew where what he was getting into yeah and it's also going to come out that it doesn't matter if he's jewish or christian or anything murder is murder yep yep, yep. oh that, that that's absolutely true uh yeah brian what do you think of all of this you've been very quiet about it do you have an opinion uh, either way well i've only caught bits and pieces via headlines on my phone on the internet and through social media only only bits and pieces there so that this is all i thought it was racially motivated myself yeah but well it could not maybe it's both yeah you know an involuntary cell it sounds like an he sounds like an incel it sounds like you're describing an incel mm -hmm. in a way yeah uh how, how uh, yes uh jason so I, I'm just curious because some of the more national stories that I've seen where people being knocked down and stabbed in their back and right. everything, that they never say who the the person was who actually committed the crime, and that's what I'm kind of wondering. Are maybe is the Asian community just you know reporting crimes committed against them more now? Because a lot of times, was well, probably nine, eight times out of ten, the person that's going to commit a crime against us, somebody's of the same race. You know, and they show somebody stabbing somebody. They never tell who did it. Was it actually another Asian that stabbed another Asian or another Asian that pushed another Asian down? You know, it's happening in their own community. Is it Asian on Asian crime? Because I haven't, I've never seen anything saying anything about who the, the, the victim was versus, you know, who the suspect was. They never say anything about the suspect. Uh, yeah, it's been happening in Oakland a lot. It has. Yes. Yes, it looks yeah, happening I'm in San Francisco it, it, a lot. It doesn't happen over here. I don't hear any of these stories except for just the big national ones, and they never say anything about you know who was the one who was supposedly committed the crime. Oakland and San Jose, yeah. Well, everybody San goes. Well, why why has has there suddenly been this uptick in racism against uh, against Chinese people or Asian people? And part of it we have to blame at the doorstep of Donald Trump, who created this prejudice from almost the day he got into office and yeah. even before that. Uh, but up until now, that has gone on for 100 years. But the Asian communities were always very stoic about it. They always said, Let, we'll keep to ourselves and we're not going to report it. We're not going to make a big deal out of it. But I mean, you go back to the days of building the railroads and they were, you know, Mm -hmm. They had problems, uh, and, and yeah. but they've always been very stoic up until now. Now I think they're getting sick and tired of it, you know. And now it's getting dangerous, getting really dangerous for them, you know. And as a Jew, I know what it's like to have people single you out because you know of who you are, uh, and uh, uh, it's the temperature of the times too. I think you know they're seeing that people are being hurt, so. They're coming back out. They're they're saying, listen to us too. Well, they probably need to be listened to more than a lot of other people, you know. Yeah. Although I I I'll hate to get into this this uh, uh, pissing match between races about well, no, we're first in line. Yeah, we're the most exactly. important, and we're That's... the most important. No, you're all important. I didn't want to go there. Let me bring up something that happened today. Did you see the uh, the meeting between our new uh, newly minted uh, Secretary of State? Uh, I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, Becerra? No. No, the uh, other no. guy. Uh, ugh, I make fun of his name because, uh, you know. Um, Abe Lincoln? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The guy with the, talking to the Chinese. Uh, Win the Link Winken. Winken. Yeah. Or is it Blinken? Blinken. Blinken. Lincoln, or is it Lincoln. Nod? Is it Nod? I don't know. Is it Nod? Is it Blinken? Is it Blinken or is it Nod? Anyway, that's he's what Blinken. Anyway, he's Blinken. Or is he Winken? I don't know. But anyway, uh, Blinken was having a meeting with the Chinese delegation. I can't remember where it was exactly. 
and Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska, and um, all of a sudden, the Chinese decided to pick a fight with him, and he wasn't very good at fighting back. I didn't think. Blinken, Blinken. Yeah, Blinken. Uh, and what they were saying was, how dare you make a big deal out of our supposed racism in China because of what they're doing to the Uyghurs, I think it is. Yeah. Um, when you are one of the most racist countries in the world and you have the inability to solve your problems, you know, and, of course, Blinken then said, well, you know, but we've, we've had a tradition of being inclusive and blah, 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 blah. Just right now we're going through a bad patch. And the Chinese weren't going weren't gonna to take that because what the Chinese don't like, and here's what Americans haven't gotten to know and get used to, that mm -hmm. is that the Chinese don't like to be told what to do, okay? They like to maybe find out for themselves or decide for themselves but they don't want somebody from, a, from especially a Caucasian Western country telling them what their ills are when that country has a, their own set of ills. And I started thinking about this, and I went, you know, I can see why the Chinese are pissed off, you know, because we're, we're singling them out when, in fact, we haven't solved our problems here. It, it, they brought up Black Lives Matter. They said, how come you got the Black Lives Matter thing happening if you're so wonderful, you know? Mm -hmm. And everybody, and I began to say, you know, the and, and Blinken was, or Winken or not, or whatever his name is, he was trying the best he could to defend the United States and doing a pathetic job of it. Just a horrible job of it. Did anybody see this? No. And yeah, but I can imagine he'd be sitting in a hole trying to get out of it. I, I would say, you know, but what happened was it started, and then all of a sudden they said, okay, well, it's over, and the press started leaving. And I think Blinken said, no, come back. we got to continue this discussion. And the press all came back, and that's when the fight really broke out. So now we're not getting along with the Chinese, okay? Uh, and, and really the Chinese should be happy that, that, uh, that Biden is president because they don't have to put up with that douchebag Trump, you know, creating this racial atmosphere about China, about Asians. That's and true. then um, uh, he, Putin and he absolutely hate each other now, you know. And Putin has challenged Biden to an a uh, international debate that they not actually good, not good for Putin. Not good for Biden either, because he doesn't understand Russian. Biden, Biden, <laughs> no, all, yeah, all Biden has to say is no. But Putin throwing that challenge out to an American country is not going to look good in, in, in where he's from. Russia. Putin is pissed because he, while while Trump was in office, he had his whipping boy. Bitch. He had, he his, had bitch. his bitch, and he doesn't have his bitch now, and he, and he doesn't know how to handle it. Well, let's have a debate. Good. Fine. What language are you going to use? Yeah, really. How stupid. Yeah. Are, are you going to have a debate and it's all going to be translated? I'm sorry. That doesn't work either. You know, Putin does know how to speak English. Yes. Yeah, of course, but he doesn't ever do it. But I guess maybe that's a leg up because Biden probably doesn't know how to speak Russian. It, or or, or English. Uh, by the way, and then today, <laughs> today the most embarrassing thing of all. Did you see Biden go up the... Stairs to his, Air Force his knee one. popped out on him. Who cares? His knee popped out on no, him. No, I didn't see that. That, that see has it. to be because he he stumbled. He and stumbled. His next step on that same he leg. Stumbled he stumbled again. again. And then he stumbled a third time. It, it was just I I I am only forty years old. <clears throat> I have good knees. The people at my work are surprised what I can do. And I have had that happen where you get that bubble in your knee and your knee's just going to give out on you. Yep. To me, it didn't look anything any, anything crazy. His knee freak, I'm just like, oh, man, that sucks. Because I know that feeling where you get like that bubble in your knee. And it's just going to give out on you. Yeah, but it's embarrassing to do it when you're going up the stairs Damn, to Air Force One. Because Fox ran this over and yeah. 
over and over yeah. again. And that's where I would just look at them and be like, you guys are just fucking idiots. Who fucking cares? Channel. Yeah. He had a bubble you know? in his fucking knee. His knee gave out. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah, really. Like I no, said, no. it was the very next step. It happened again. You could see it. He was putting weight on that same well, leg. Also, the very next what, step. And just what people, came out again. What people were worried about was a couple of weeks ago, he actually broke his ankle. And they didn't want to see that ankle be re uh, broken, as it were. So I think, well, I Fox, think, I think what Fox News is worried about is that he is going to take a fall and end up permanently disabled or something, and Kamala Harris is going to. Uh, yeah, but then they're going to have they're going to have a field day with that. Oh one. yeah. Yeah, well, she's a smart woman. Because I'd like to I see mean, her if we if we consider that everything that Fox does is racist, and it really is, you think? Oh, and the only thing I can say with Biden today, at least it wasn't toilet paper stuck to his shoe. Right. Well, no he, but anyway, <laughs> sorry, she's black and she's no a woman. They're going to have a field day with that one. So they're, 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 everything. What? What? Remember, the, la- what, John? Last week they were attacking his fucking dog. Remember? So yeah, no, dog. his dog was attacking somebody else. <laughs> no, there was, oh, the dog oh, bit somebody. The dog's too old. Food. It's ugly. It's not a good dog for the White House. Hey, oh, come I mean, on. I, I don't like German Shepherds. <laughs> that well, dog should I, not I, have been I, at all. Quite frankly, I don't think that he probably should brought the dogs to the White House. Why? And here's the reason why. If it was a cute little puppy or a cute little dog, you know, <laughs> which you could kick across the lawn, uh... That's more manageable than one of these dogs, which is what the German Shepherds. That's what it looked like. And they supposedly were shitting all over the rugs in the White House. <laughs> you know, this is their it's new a, house. Yeah, it's how, a do we, how do we way. know that? That's right. They're marking their territory. How do we know Lincoln didn't have an accident on the same carpet? Such a new yeah. environment for what? the dog. It's not fair to the dog to bring it there. I, okay. I don't think it is fair to bring it there. No. Maybe not. Yeah. That's the first dog you're talking about. Well, I think they did it because they figured it would have good optics. You know, oh, yeah, look, he's got a dog. You know, every president Trump didn't. Did. Trump well, didn't have a dog. All except Trump had dogs. Did he have dogs? I said he's the only one. Yeah. Oh, no, he never he's had the only one that had didn't. A dog. Obama had a dog. Well, he, right. well he promised the girls. The Obama promised the girls that if he got elected president and they moved to the White House, they could have a dog. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's why they got a dog. Yeah. Otherwise, they didn't uh, have a dog. Almost before. every president in our history has had a dog. Well, at the white. Yeah. At the white oh you yeah. Go back to Jimmy Carter. You go back to Jimmy Carter. Jimmy go back Carter. further. Go, back go to FDR, go to LBJ. FDR. Remember him holding the dog by his yeah. ears. By the ears. <laughs> right. Right. And, well, his and, ears. and before yes, that, they, before they, that, you, you had. I think uh, I think uh, JFK uh, had a dog. I'm trying yep. to remember, remember who the yeah, dog was. was dog. Huh. Did Roosevelt have a dog? Fowler. Yeah. Fowler was his dog. Oh, really? Yeah. He had right. a dog named Fowler. They used to make jokes about it all the time. What's Biden's dog's name? Uh, 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 Kamala. Cujo. No. Uh... Cujo. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Ooh. Now we're... He, he <laughs> turned on Fox News for a on. minute. I thought, I thought I'd make a joke that maybe was would keep the, uh, keep the uh, 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 right-wingers happy tonight, you know. Uh, Nixon had dogs. Actually, I'm so I'm so positive about Kamala Harris. I actually, I feel good about her as vice president because if something does happen to him, I think she would do a really good job. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. And she's doing a good job as vice president, and he is always making sure she's always there. You know, Absolutely. she's not living just like up at, Biden did with him. Yeah, he's not. She's not living at the observatory and, and just hanging out there. Unlike she, the last yeah. vice president. Yeah. Hey, Alan, can I yeah. ask you a question? Because Phil does not like her because supposedly she did something about uh, cops being shot, not being more hardcore so she than was, a regular person. She was a or, district. She was a district attorney in San Francisco, and when yeah. she took over. In liberal San Francisco, Mm -hmm. she said that uh, cop killers won't get the death penalty, which was kind of customary in California. And him being a former cop and me being a former cop, I had a problem with that. But that isn't the total person. So I I was just curious if you had the same feeling. I always always had a problem with the thing about just necessarily because a, a person was a cop 
and he got killed, that that would carry with it the death penalty. Whereas, uh, whereas uh, if they shot me, it wouldn't necessarily ca carry the death penalty. And, no, no, well, no, wait a minute. Let me finish my thinking. Let me finish my thinking on this. Now, compared to me and you, who has the gun? Who has the two-way radio? Who has the tear gas? Who has all the uh, the, the, the bulletproof vest? All the protection you could possibly need. Not me. Donald Not Trump. <laughs> no. Do you think he wore? He, uh, was it the reason he was so oh, fat? Yeah, is he, he was wearing? Vest. He was wearing a vest. Do you think? Oh, you bet. I think that's what kind of actually slimmed him down. Absolutely, <laughs> I slimmed him down. Yeah, it was the vest. Those vests weigh about six or seven pounds nowadays. So yeah, yeah, and a lot of, lot of. But lot I mean, I, I just always felt that uh, that singling out uh, killing police as having a special penalty was uh, really not practical because so, they really do. You do. You got to admit, as a cop, you have more things going for you to protect yourself in case somebody's going to want to do you harm. Right? Okay. Am I right or wrong? Okay, I'll and, buy that. Yeah. So and, and then and, and well, I that's don't. where my argument was because I'm a public utility worker and our death rate on the job is actually just the same, if not higher, than a police officer. Really? And, I didn't know. And, that. You know, we we don't get any type of special, you know, you kill us, you know, type of thing. So yeah, I don't sign up to say I'm gonna I'm gonna enforce <laughs> the law. You know, where somebody who is a cop does sign up for that, so, they know what they're getting so, into. Alex, what do you? What's the difference between a cop and you? What's the difference between a police officer and a civilian? Forget making it personal. Well, uh, the difference between a, a per, myself and a well, be, uh, number one, he Simply. has a great deal more authority over people's okay. destiny, shall we say? I mean, so it, to, yeah. To me, the difference is. Civilians run from gunfire. Police run towards gunfire. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's true. I'll, so, I'll give you that. Civilians, when was the last time you protected somebody that was getting beat up on the street or something like that? Well, wait a minute, Jason. So, I'm saying I do. Okay, that's great. You're a big boy. And oh, I would expect five, five. that from you. So, But, but <laughs> a lot of people don't. A lot of people walk right by it. But, you know, police protect. Innocent people, they put their life on the line for innocent people all day long, mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. well, that's, their that, job. That, that's why That's why they ought to get whoever kills a police officer ought to get the death penalty. Well, I, I think that, you know, to begin with, I don't believe in the death penalty. So that's okay. it's a moot point right there, you know. Okay. How about you, Brian? You've been quiet. How do you feel about this? Anything? Is Brian still awake? Brian's been gone for a while. I think, yeah, I think he's uh, saw him. He's asleep. Really? Yeah. Is he asleep? Did we really yeah. put him to sleep? Wow. I'm, su I'm surprised sleep. any of you people are watching this. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, if we're putting the uh, the citizen panel to sleep. Oh, yeah. He's out like a light, so to speak. And, and a... Alex, I hear you like talking about how you don't think you have as much of a listening audience. Are you paying attention to all the other platforms that you're on? Uh, all the other platforms. There sure hell ain't no way I'm listening to you at this time of night. I listen to you when I'm at work during the day. Yeah, but I find that during the day that it doesn't pick up that much. You know. Okay, I'm not listening to you on your your uh, website or anything. Oh. I download you from Apple. Are mm -hmm. you paying attention to that? Uh, I can tell how many are downloading from Apple. Yeah. Well, I'm saying, are you paying attention? Like, I know you can tell if you I want can, to. I can tell you... the cum cumulative between all the platforms together. But that's what I'm saying. When you're on your rants where you're complaining, people aren't listening the way they used to. Are you actually looking at all the different platforms that you're? You know on what I don't pay attention to. You know what I don't pay attention to is the audio only. I probably should take a look yeah, at that. Yeah, that's that's the only way I listen yeah. to you. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm at work in my truck, I, man. I, I, got you on this. I don't think anybody's ever fallen asleep on a show that I've been on. Oh man, sure. oh, and, uh, freaking! Oh, I wouldn't uh, admit to that. Here's some song logs. Wow, <laughs> you know what this means? The guy who loves Brian the most is Jack. Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, you gotta wake him up for Jack. You gotta wake him up for Jack. Otherwise, he's not gonna be here for Jack. Hopefully, I, he's just falling asleep and he's not having yeah. a medical emergency or yeah. something. Hey, and that's the other thing. You ever talk to Jack about having him go on before you? Because I would love to call into his show more, but man, that's that's just too late. 
Way too get a, late. Get a too different late, job. Yeah. Work different yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah, I, I give up my pay to go so I can be here more. Listen, uh, uh, he can have this slot. You know, I watched, <laughs> yeah. I, Jason, the first time I saw you on the show was about three years ago. I watched the uh, Phil pointed me to a show uh, and you were here with, I think, your wife or something like that. And it was about Phil believing that gay people had a choice, oh. be gay or not. And oh. I saw you and your wife. Oh, and that, that show was, you know, I mean, it just, I, I, I don't believe gay people have a choice. I, I, you know, I, I disagree with well, Phil. I, I could say that a little different for a certain friend of mine, where they were married to a guy and a gal they got divorced and now she is married to another lady i think it's very is that a change? For women to like women yeah, also. Well, but but that that was okay but girl on girl action yeah, we always i, we I, always, I don't think we, i don't think that's a change i think that's something that has always been there right in her I, yeah I agree. could I be agree. yeah it was Pressured by society into marrying the guy. And it's much easier to be a lesbian than to be gay, to be a homosexual. To be a guy. For me. Well, when a guy takes it up the butt, that's commitment. <laughs> and really, I'm serious. I'm not joking. That's commitment. <laughs> and this well, is from somebody you know, who's always been sucked by a man. Well, no, when that's it, different. I have. When I, I, a woman I let, takes it up the butt? What? Is that commitment when a woman takes it up the butt? <laughs> That's commitment. Oh, it, 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 you know the it, commitment. It, 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 some heterosexual couples do. Oh, absolutely, but I'm ju I'm just saying that that's commitment because I think it's still know. a felony sodomy in Texas. Well, guys, see, it? guys aren't you? Women oh. are. Uh, it, it's different <laughs> no, for a woman because no, even if she takes it, it, it uh, I hate to get into <laughs> this, but even if she takes it anally, they are used. A woman is used to being penetrated. And guys are used to doing the penetration. So if now a guy is being penetrated, that's conviction. Does to that make me, sense? It's still the same problem. You got to spend an hour in the shower washing your dick. Well, <laughs> well, the hard part about being gay uh, and 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 having anal sex is the hard part is making it look easy. You know. So I've always I've often felt that that was the. The main thing you got to make it look easy. Ooh, I, I that was nice. Easy. What you got to do? Bend over and it's done. That's pretty. Uh, easy. I wouldn't say it's that easy. Okay. Well, okay. I haven't been there, so I don't. Know. Well, if you haven't been there, you know, then what okay. are you going to do? You know. Hey, listen. I'm going to play the theme. There we go. Hear that? That's our little theme song. Oh, uh, it woke sure. Brian up. The name of it is "Swing That Jazz <laughs> Stick." Oh, hey, it, Brian, we, we, know, woke, we woke you up in time so you can call Jack's show. Uh, uh, make it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice having you here tonight, Jason. Always nice. And now your name is permanently there, so it won't say owner the next time you call. Okay. Uh, no, don't. <laughs> I, I did you a solid. Um, um, uh, uh, thank you, Alan. Always good having you here. Charlie Wallace, you're a gem. Uh, Jeff. Love you to death. Brian, you should call more often. And the next time, maybe even stay awake if you can. We'd appreciate it. And John he Larkin. Mumbling, hmm? He was mumbling, vote for Trump, wasn't he? No, he, he was wasn't. He never said that. No. Uh, uh, and, and thank you very much, John Larkin. And Kevin, always a pleasure. Definite pleasure. Uh, everybody, give a big uh, wave goodbye, and I'll give a wave goodbye back at you, okay? Oh, Kevin got out of there really fast, okay. Anyway, that's our citizen panel for tonight. Jack Bishop will be assembling another citizen panel right next here over most of these same gab nets. In the meantime, uh, you can call him on Skype using GabNet Live as the address to call. We'll see you again on Monday at 4 o'clock with our pop-up show. They're a lot of fun, those shows, if you don't get a chance to listen to them. And then we'll be back here again on uh, on uh, Tuesday at 10.30 Eastern Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And everybody, wear a mask out there and be safe.